Okay, so since the video about Boo's parents has just gone so big, today I've decided to retreat back to it and answer some things that some people didn't quite understand or some things that I may have glossed over during the theory. Um, if you haven't seen my video, Who Are Boo's Parents, you should probably check it out or this video will make no sense. Hello there! How are we doing? So the first thing that I glossed over in the theory were the dates of when The Incredibles and Monsters Inc. took place. From what we know about The Incredibles is that it takes place in the late 1960s and she was born in like the late 90s, early 2000s. A lot of people believe that because of the technology displayed in The Incredibles that The Incredibles actually took place in the 90s or 2000s. And people there thought that my theory was debunked because in my video I said that The Incredibles took place in 1967. And after a recent re-watching of The Incredibles, I admit that I was wrong, and The Incredibles doesn't actually take place in 1967. I now believe it takes place in 1973. And regardless of what anyone else has said on this matter, I have evidence to prove that The Incredibles took place in 1973. Because Thunderhead, who died on the 15th of November, 1958... November 15th, the 58th. <laughs> All was well, another day saved, when his cape snagged on a missile pin. ...was present at Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl's wedding. And I believe he must have died within a couple days or weeks of this wedding, because the supers were banned shortly after the wedding. And there's no way he'd have been doing superhero work after the super's been banned, which means that all the evidence points to the fact that Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl's wedding took place in 1958. So therefore, when the film flashes forward 15 years, it would be taking place in 1973. Monsters, Inc. is obviously believed, if you've read the Pixar theory, paperback book link in the description, to have taken place in about the 4000s, 5000s, that sounds so weird to say. It's believed to have taken place in about 2000, 3000 years after The Incredibles. However, we also believe that the doors are time-travelling doors, meaning that the monsters are travelling back to a certain time period in the human world. And there is actually concrete evidence saying what time period the doors are taking them back to in the human world because of a file held by Mike Wazowski, which states the scare dates of a particular child all took place in 1999. Okay, you need to understand it is very small and very hard to get a good picture of it, but if you don't believe me, go get Monsters Inc. on DVD and pause at 12 minutes 40 seconds, because you'll definitely be able to see it on a television. Using this evidence, and assuming that Boo was two years old in Monsters Inc., give or take, this means that Boo was born in 1997. And using the evidence that I presented earlier about The Incredibles taking place in 1973, that means Violet was born in about 1959, which means she would have been about 38 when she had Boo. And those people claiming that Violet would have been too old to have had Boo at 38, you're wrong, because women can definitely have kids in their late 30s. And also, how young do you think Elastigirl was when she had Jack-Jack? Because I think all the evidence points to the fact that she was in her 40s during The Incredibles. So it's definitely possible for Violet to have had a child in her late 30s. And also, let's take into consideration that Boo might not necessarily have been Violet's first child, and that Boo might actually have an older sister called Katie, which was mentioned in a recent Super Carlin Brothers video, a video that I may have mentioned on another video in this channel, you know, just a small mention of it. Another thing that commenters didn't resist to point out was the fact that Dash and Jack-Jack could change their surname when they get married, and that it isn't unknown for men to change their surname when they get married, meaning that either of them could also be Boo's father, meaning that everything I said about Violet being the mother was wrong, Really. However, technically speaking, I never said that men couldn't change their surname when they get married. It's just more common for women to change their surname. So, in terms of probability, it's more likely that Violet will be the parent instead of Dash or Jack-Jack. And also, let's not forget the entire argument about the Jessie doll and how Violet is the only one born in the late 50s, meaning Violet is the only one old enough to own a Jessie doll. <laughs> which she then passed down to Boo, which explains why Boo has a toy from the late 1950s. Also, on the topic of the Jessie doll, another thing people didn't fail to comment were comments like, this. How did the Jesse dolls go out of fashion in the late 1950s? I was born in 2005 and my mum bought me one for my fifth birthday, so therefore they were still being sold in 2010, which completely disproves your theory, idiot! Firstly, I'm talking about the Pixar universe, not this universe. Of course there are Jessie dolls sold in this universe, she's a character from two very popular films, Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3. And also, to anyone who commented that, have you even seen Toy Story 2? Because if you haven't, it explains why the toys aren't being sold anymore. And as well, it's basically just an all-round perfect movie. <laughs> also, another thing a lot of people commented is that Tony's surname could technically be Gibbs. 
meaning Tony could technically be Boo's father. Again, I glossed over this because I thought it was common knowledge that Tony's surname was Rydinger, since he's referred to as Rydinger twice in the film. Hey Rydinger, where you headed? What are you hungry for? Tony Rydinger. But apparently that isn't common knowledge, so no, Tony isn't a secret orphan super called Gibbs. We actually know he isn't an orphan because he's seen at Dash's sports day at the end of the film, which of course isn't his own school's sports day because we know Dash and Violet go to different schools, meaning he most likely has a younger brother or sister that goes to Dash's school, which explains why he was at that sports day. There isn't any evidence that he isn't a super, however there also isn't any evidence that he is a super, but The Incredibles 2 is coming out in 2018 and despite the fact I very much doubt he's going to be a super, you never know. The next thing that a lot of people saw as evidence for this theory being debunked was the fact that if Boo really was a super and had powers of teleportation, then why didn't she use her powers in certain situations like when Randall has her tied down in the Scream Extractor chair? This was something I was planning on mentioning in the original video, but it just didn't make the final script, so I'm sorry. Personally, the reason I believe Boo didn't teleport herself out of situations like the one where she's tied down in the Scream Extractor chair is simply because she isn't quite in control of her powers as of yet. And this is something that is shown in the Pixar show Jack Jack Attack, where Jack Jack is shown not quite to be in control of his powers. If you somehow haven't seen the short Jack Jack Attack, you should 100% watch it because it is incredible. Pun intended. And I believe that Boo, despite being a little older than Jack Jack is in The Incredibles, is not quite in control of her powers yet, and instead uses them at random times, almost unintentionally. All I want to know is what was going on inside her head when she was randomly teleporting and in the monster world. Like the emotions must have gone mad, they must have been running all over the place. Fear probably left headquarters because he was in such shock. And finally, the thing that was probably commented most of all. If the doors really are time traveling doors, couldn't they have just sent her back to the moment she was kidnapped? Theory debunked by your own logic! Firstly, even if they did send her back to the exact moment she was kidnapped, it really doesn't disprove the theory. Secondly, no one really knows how the time traveling doors work. Like, can they send you back to any period of time? Or can they only send you back to a period of time parallel with the period of time they're currently in? And I'm only going to be interested in what you have to say if you have a degree from Monsters University about how time traveling doors work, so... And thirdly, we know Boo wasn't sent back to the exact moment when she was kidnapped from the monster world because her toys moved around her room while she was gone. All I want to know is what were her toys doing and thinking when she was lost in the monster world? Now that would be a good plot for Toy Story 4. And yeah, that's it for me answering the FAQs for that video. The only other thing that I was going to put in is that so many people were commenting, can a super and a non-super have a super baby? And I don't know, okay? We're gonna have to wait for The Incredibles 2 to see the answer to that because I don't know. So please stop asking me if a super and a non-super can have a super baby. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see another Pixar themed video, click on my Pixar themed videos playlist here. And if you wanna keep informed about my videos coming up in the future, click subscribe here. And otherwise, leave a like on this video and comment your thoughts down below. And I hope you have a great day. Sorry, I've never said have a great day at the end of my videos before and I don't know why I decided to start now. Also, if you have a nice comment to say about my new haircut, go for it. And if you have a horrible comment to say about it, keep that to yourself.